Hey, what's up, guys? Hard Lake Joe here with the profile for my Red Dragon Archfiend Turbo deck. For a monster lineup, we have three Red Warg, three Spiral Dude, three Wandering King Wildwind, three of this horse thing with weird, gross human hands, three Red Resonator, one of the other level two Resonators, one Chain Resonator, and three Synchron Resonator, and that's Synchron with a K, because synergy is for grommets. Uh, for spell, we've got two Return of the Dragon Lords, three Ancient Leaf, yes, I said Ancient Leaf, come at me, bro, three Resonator Call, one Glorious Top Deck, and two Pitiful Attempts to Stop Spell Mining Cave. For traps, we have three Painful Hour, three $40 Bills, and three Crackdown. Our extra deck consists of two Red Rising Dragon, two Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend, and one each of King Calamity, Bane, the good one, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend, Ancient Pixie Dragon, Big Knifey Boy, Sam Sarah Dragon, Plan B, Mech Knight Crusadia Chad, A Bug, and Underclock Taker. The side deck I'll go over in a little bit. So, as the name implies, this deck is all about turboing out Red Dragon Archfiend monsters, of which there are many, and only about one and a half of them are any good. I'm gonna be honest, this deck doesn't really have a solid win condition. It was made more of as a theme deck to see what Red Dragons and Resonators, their in-theme tuners, could do in the modern game. Uh, which is not much. I mean, don't get me wrong, if you go first, and you get the optimal hand, this deck can do some pretty cool shit. But it's really easy to disrupt, and when it does brick, it bricks hard. Like... I'm just gonna set a monster and pass hard. Uh, but let's not focus on that for now. I mentioned the optimal hand, so let's talk about that. Your main playmaker, the thing you want to see every time, is Red Resonator. This is a level 2 tuner with two effects. First, when it's normal summoned, you could special summon a level 4 lower monster from your hand. Second, when it's special summoned, you could target a monster on the field and gain life points equal to that monster's attack. This, plus any of your level 4 monsters, makes Red Rising Dragon, a.k.a. the Red Stepping Stone. When this thing is Synchro Summoned, you can target a Resonator in your graveyard and Special Summon it. So not only do you get that tuner back on the field so you can make level 8 Synchros, but in the case of Red Resonator, you summon it back, which will trigger its second effect, getting you at least 2100 life points. This is why we play Ancient Leaf. If you could do that Red Resonator combo, and hopefully you can because this deck is literally built around doing that, then you will have more than 9,000 life points, and this becomes Pot of Greed. It's not consistent, and it bricks as often as it works, but you know, I saw a chance to use a meme card and I took it, damn it. But anyway, back to our combo, once you have Red Rising Dragon and Red Resonator on board, you can make one of our two level 8 synchros. Scarlight is the better of the two, it can destroy all special summoned monsters on the field with attack less than or equal to itself, and burn 500 for each, that's why we played it too. But there are some instances, like say you're facing down a Boral Load Dragon that's going to lower your attack, where Hot Red Dragon Archfiend is the better choice. It just destroys all attack position monsters regardless of attack, but only it can attack that turn. Regardless, these are nice if you're going second and all that, but most of the time you're going to want to go one step beyond. Which you could do easily with Synchron Resonator, that's a level 1 tuner that you could special summon from your hand if a Synchro monster is on the field. This, plus either of your level 8s, will make Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss, aka that card that Guard Dragon summon. You know, the one that can negate things once per turn? Yeah, that one. It's pretty good. Uh, Synchron Resonator also lets you grab another Resonator out of the grave if it's sent from the field to the graveyard, which means doing this combo will get your Red Resonator back to your hand and let you do the same thing next turn if need be. Uh, anyway, this is usually what you'll end on, going first this scary boy plus a power trap like Infinite Impermanence or Crackdown is usually going to be enough to stun your opponent's plays. From there, you should be able to snowball pretty well and put a crap ton of damage on board. See, Abyss has this second effect where if it deals battle damage, you could summon a tuner from your graveyard. Which means you attack, get Synchron Resonator back out, 
and then go into our level 10 synchro Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Batman villain. Uh, this guy can tribute any monster to summon any Red Dragon Archfiend out of your graveyard, including Abyss, the one that you just used as material. This is how you play around Master Rule 4. You synchro ladder up from Red Rising Dragon up to Bane, and then every turn Bane can just summon one of the steps back out of the graveyard until you've got more than 9,000 damage on board with a negate and a field nuke. In addition, if Bane inflicts battle damage and your opponent is still alive, he summons two tuners with the same level, one from the deck and one from the graveyard. If you've gotten this far, you should have two resonators in the graveyard, Synchron and Red. If you've got another Ancient Leaf in your hand, summon Red, use its effect to gain 3,500 life points, and draw yourself some more cards. Uh, if not, you could summon two Synchron Resonators and go into Hot Red Dragon Archfiend King Calamity. Who, I mean, j just look at him. Do I even need to read all this effect? I mean, you might as well just call him Big Dick Winmore Dragon. You, you get this, you've won. It's over. Uh, so yeah, that's the main crux of the deck. Start with this, Synchro Climb, end on this. All the rest of the monsters in the main deck are just here to help with that. Uh, Red Wolf Thing is a level 6 that summons itself when you summon a Resonator, makes easy level 8 Synchros. Spiral Super Agent is a level 4 that can potentially special summon itself, useful for if your like Resonator gets negated, plus it has a little back row removal as well. A uh, Wandering King can special summon itself if you control a Resonator, and you can banish it from the graveyard to search a Resonator. Uh, just not the same turn it was sent to the graveyard, unfortunately. You gotta wait a turn. Uh, Big Red Monster Hands, meanwhile, summons a Resonator from your hand or graveyard when it's summoned, as long as you don't control any other monsters, making it a decent starter card, or a good top deck recovery card if you've run out of everything. Uh, I suppose I should mention these don't actually say summon resonators in their text. They mention fiend type tuners of a specific level and attack. Uh, but in this deck, it essentially just means resonators. Uh, if you can find some other fiend type tuners that synergize with these, uh, let me know. I, I couldn't. Uh, as for the resonators, red, I already went over in depth. Force resonator is just another level two resonator. I had one extra space in the deck, so I stuffed this in here. Uh, it can make Red Stepping Stone pretty easily, along with most of our level 4s. You just don't gain any life points in the process. Uh, it has an effect, but unless you're worried about Mirror Force, it's not useful. Uh, Chain Resonator, meanwhile, can be a nice thing to search if you've already got your plays going. Because if you normal summon it while a Synchro's on the field, you can summon a Resonator from the deck except itself allowing you to either gain life points with red, or go into bigger synchros without having to attack first. Pretty much everything else in here is just a tech card. Uh, the only real piece of in-theme support we're playing is Resonator Call, which lets you search a resonator. From there, we have Monster Reborn, uh, Monster Reborn, but only for your Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend, and Monster Reborn in Trap Form, but only for Extra Deck Monsters. Uh, we're playing Twin Twisters, so we can pretend we have an out to Mystic Mine, as well as Infinite and Permanent, because it's really good, and Crackdown, because it's new, and I wanted to experiment with stuff. Uh, all of this stuff is not essential to the deck. If you'd prefer, you could just as easily replace these with Hand Traps, or Counter Traps, or like, another whole small deck engine if you really wanted to. Wind Witches, maybe, they Synchro. Uh, zombies, I've, I've heard Zombies can do pretty good in this. You know, really, that's the only benefit to this deck. You could just fit in a whole bunch of stuff. Go nuts, I don't know. Uh, as for the rest of our extra deck, I put in the most generic links possible, just because uh, our monsters are all over the place in terms of type and attribute, and because we steal stuff with Crackdown. These just take two effect monsters, so pretty much no matter what you what you steal and what you have, you're going to be able to make these two. Uh, Baguska is literally just here to stall in case we open with Super Agent and another level 4 with no tuners. And then we've got a couple level 5s and a level 7 synchro, which are good to have if you have particularly wonky hands. I didn't mention it before, but we have several cards that lock us into just dark dragon type synchros, which is why we're playing otherwise mediocre cards like Samsara Dragon and Ancient Pixie Dragon. 
If you want to live on the edge, though, feel free to replace these with pretty much whatever you want. Uh, go crazy, maybe do some non-Dark Dragon stuff, be a little risky. As for the side deck, most of it's just other stuff I considered playing. Reborn Tengu came highly recommended, but since Res Resonator's second effect is an archaic when effect, Tengu causes it to miss timing when you use it to make Red Rising Dragon, which means you don't get any life point gain and no Ancient Leaf, and I couldn't have that. Uh, I also considered Red Gardener instead of the Spiral Agent. You can discard it during either player's turn to make all your monsters immune to destruction effects, which is some nice protection to stack on top of something like Abyss. But in the end, I'd rather have something that special summons itself so I can make plays in the first place. Uh, everything else in here is barely worth mentioning. Another Abyss, in case you get hit by Called by the Grave, is nice. Uh, your own Called by the Grave can be good to take care of hand traps since you're going first. Uh, one for one can summon Synchron Resonator, but we don't play a whole lot of monsters, so it could sometimes be dead. One time passcode gets you a free level four, but it can't be used as Ixi or Link material, and it doesn't have the same utility that Spiral Super Agent does, so I just got rid of that. Living Fossil is yet more graveyard summoning. It can help you Synchro Ladder since it summons the tuner. There's also some actual Red Dragon traps, which are neat to pull out. But I'd only recommend citing them in if you're going up against a deck that's like noticeably worse than yours, and you don't want to embarrass them too bad, because uh, they are not good. <laughs> but uh, there's the deck. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see Red Dragon Archfiend Turbo in action, you can check out the main video where I'll be playing 10 random duels against opponents on YGO Pro, showing off this thing for about an hour or more. Or if you're short on time, just check out the quick little replay video where I show fast the, the few times that I've won. Both should be on the end card and linked down in the description. Anyway, until next time, good luck and have fun.